Welcome to another video. This is Dr. J. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about hearing. Now, at 28 weeks of gestation, that at 28 weeks of pregnancy, a baby's vital senses, that is vision, hearing, touch, taste, and smell, are fully developed and ready to go. So if a baby is born at 28 weeks, which happens even earlier, you know, premature babies, preterm babies, all these vital senses are, are, are functional and they are absolutely ready to go. Now, the important thing to understand is that yes, the hearing is developed at 28 weeks, but the important part is that from 28 week onwards, the tracks of memory are being laid down in the baby's brain. And as I've said earlier in my earlier videos, that from this time onwards, the baby can not only hear, but also remember. And there have been numerous examples of uh, uh, cases being reported that uh, of people remembering actual events while they were uh, in the mother's womb. And in this video, I'll give you two classical examples. One um, is, is the example of a, of a Canadian couple. It was um, an immigrant couple from, that migrated from Poland to, to Canada. And they went and settled in the uh, French-speaking um, uh, area, mainly Quebec and uh, over there in those areas, where there's predominantly the French influence and French-speaking communities. So this, peop this couple moves in from Poland and they settle there and uh, uh, both the husband and the wife are working and uh, the, the, obviously you know, the wife gets pregnant and ultimately she has a baby. Now as the baby grows at the age of about two and a half, between two and a half to three, when the baby starts to babble and say a few words and so on and so forth, the baby is saying a few strange words which the parents are not being able to comprehend. Because at home they mainly speak Polish language and the baby was pre-birth, the baby was exposed to, to Polish language and you know as the baby is growing up and crawling still, and a few words of English here and there, a little bit of English. So now this is a strange language. So they, they go and visit the doctor and the counselor and so on and so forth and it's discovered that you know funnily enough this baby is speaking French, a few words of French. Now this is very perplexing and you know everybody thinks you know what's going on, how is this possible? So they start to sort of investigate and you know, they, they're just going back into the history and so on and so forth. Finally, it was found out that this Polish speaking uh, uh, mother was working in a factory which was predominantly a French speaking uh, environment. And everybody spoke French over there. Nobody spoke English, nobody spoke any other language. And all the words around her while she was pregnant while this baby's brain was growing were predominantly French words. So obviously the baby's brain picked up some French words and they were stored in the brain and when the baby was born the baby was able to, to, to say a few words of French. So this just goes to tell you the importance of, of registering the words in the baby's brain much before the baby is born. There's another example that I'll give you. There was a young girl of about 13 or 14 years old and uh, she would get hysterical at the sound of boiling water. So if she went to somebody's house and they put on a kettle of uh, uh, water to, to, to make coffee or tea and as the, as the water starts to boil and it makes that sound, you know, the girl panics, breaks up the sweat, gets very agitated, gets very tense, gets very nervous. So now this is an abnormal behavior. So again, you know, they go and see the psychologist and, you know, the doctors and so on and so forth. Then they start digging into the history of, 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 of what's going on. And after a period of time, they find out that when this baby was being carried in the mother's womb, the mother did not want a baby and she wanted an abortion. So she went around looking for advice, you know, what should I do to abort? How should I get rid of the baby? And somebody gave her this wise suggestion that you, know, you should pour very, very hot water on your, on, your, on your abdomen and because of the heat, you'll abort. And she kept doing for a, for a period of time, uh, you know, but, but obviously she didn't abort and she had the baby. 
Now over here I've given you two examples and each example has its own meaning. The first example was a person is able to recount experiences of the verbal use of the words of the language spoken to the person that it remembers. The second one is equally important where it was not a question of words or language, it was a question of emotions. The emotions that were there with the heat when the mother was going through this, with the hot water pouring on her abdomen, the emotions of, of torture, the emotions of heat. So there were two different kinds of communications, but they were remembered and they were stored in the brain. So that is why, trust me, when I, I tell you that it is extremely important to expose the baby to the right quality of words, to the right quality of sounds, to high quality words, high quality language, good emotions, it is extremely important for the developing brain of the child and, and, and for an entire lifetime. Now, a lot of time people ask me, uh, you know what, we are multilingual. We speak different kind of languages at home. Uh, how does it affect my baby? Now, you have to understand that language is made of words and words is made up of sounds. These sounds are called phonemes. And every language has different sounds, different, different, uh, different character to it. And phonemes will differ from language to language. The brain has the beautiful inbuilt capacity and the capability to register as many number of phonemes that the brain is subjected to, which means that a child can grow up uh, learning four or five or six or ten different languages at the same time without any confusion to the brain. And this is all happening preterm from the 28th week of pregnancy. So that is, that is the vital importance of hearing and, and memory and words and emotions. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.